thing with us here on the show. Avid golfers, listen up. There's a way to relieve the pain in your lower back and get you a better swing. Find out how on this week's Staying a Step Ahead. Good morning, I'm Christine Gibbs from the Step Ahead Physiotherapy in Governor's Square. On the heels of the Masters, many golfers are looking for ways to improve their golf game. Today, I'd like to give you some physiotherapy tips to do just that. Three out of four golfers complain of low back pain after a round of golf. For many amateurs, they have injuries such as low back pain, elbow, and shoulder pain. For many golfers, their goal is to increase distance. This is typically done by increasing club head speed. This can be done by getting the lead arm back farther or increasing spinal rotation. For every 20 degrees of spinal rotation, club head speed increases 15 to 20 miles per hour. So, if you can get the lead arm back farther or increase your rotation, your club head speed increases. If a golfer is limited in any joints, they will try to compensate in other joints of the body. For instance, if you're limited in shoulder motion, you might bend your lead elbow, causing elbow pain. Watch. If you cannot get the shoulder back, you're going to bend your elbows to get the club head back farther. Many golfers complain of low back pain after a round of golf. Your lumbar spine, which is the low part of your back, was not designed to rotate. Your thoracic and cervical spine was. If you don't have the motion in your thoracic and cervical spine, you'll make up for it in your lumbar spine, causing excess motion and therefore some pain. Tight hip joints will also limit your back swing and follow through, but they do, do opposite motions for each swing. So the back swing, one hip is going one way, the other hip's going the other way. On the follow through, the opposite is true. You need to loosen up the hip joints or you'll compensate in your spine, shoulders, and even your knees and ankles. Tight neck muscles will, will limit your eyes on the ball. If you have a tight neck that keeps you like this, you cannot get your eyes on the ball. You're constantly looking ahead of the ball. If you cannot rotate, you won't be able to keep your eyes on the ball. So when you go to swing, your neck comes with you and you can't look down to get your eyes on the ball. If you sit at a desk all day, your trunk muscles are going to be tight. So you stay in a hunched motion, which is going to limit rotation and shoulder motion as well. Flexibility is the single most important characteristic to influence your golf swing. I'm going to show you some ways to work on that flexibility both during and before the game. If you want to work on your neck and back, sit in your cart and just simply rotate. Hold both directions for 30 seconds. For your neck, Look forward, rotate to one side, and then the other side. Now, to get the motion during your golf swing, which incorporates your upper back and neck, you want to stand, arms out to the side, rotate your upper body while looking the opposite direction, and then repeat to the opposite side. To loosen up your hip joints, cross one leg over the other and pull towards you, feeling a nice stretch through your buttock. Repeat with the opposite side. And then, to get the front of your hips, grab your club for balance. Put your foot up on the golf cart and lean forward, getting a nice stretch through your front of your hip, your hip flexor muscle. To loosen up your trunk muscles, first start with your pecs. Come up to the cart and just gently rotate away, getting a nice stretch through the front of your chest. Then, grab onto the cart and lean outwards. You'll get the opposite side of your trunk and then finally, hold with both hands and lean back, getting your lats. To work on your shoulder joints, simply grab under your elbow and pull straight across. You'll get a really good stretch to the back of your shoulder. Again, hold 30 seconds, repeat opposite side. And then to get your rotator cuff muscles, grab your club, drop it down behind you, grab with the other hand and gently pull downwards. You'll get a good stretch through your top arm. I hope these tips will help increase your driving distance and shave a few strokes off your score. These stretches will also be helpful, even if you're not a golfer, to increase your flexibility. If there's something in particular you're struggling with in your golf swing, a step ed physiotherapy offers individualized video golf swing analysis to help figure out where your problems may lie, and hopefully that's not in the rough. Thanks again for watching. Tune in next month to continue staying a step ahead.
And if you'd like to get in contact with Christine or the team at a Step Ahead Physiotherapy, you can give them a call at 745-ASAP, that's 745-2727. You can also send them an email to info at a stepaheadphysio.com. They also have a website you can log on to as well, that's www.asteppaheadphysio.com, or you can head on into their offices at Governor Square. And be sure to tune in for next month's Physio Tips. Staying a Step Ahead airs the last Wednesday of every month.